Okay guys, I just wanted to come on here really quick and do a wig unboxing because I ordered a wig the other day and I am so, so excited. I thought I might as well film unboxing it. So this is not going to be a complete review. That will that video will come very shortly after I post this one, but this is just going to be the unboxing because I feel like I'm just so excited to try this one because it's a very, very unique color, which you will see in a minute. So I wanted to actually film like my legitimate reactions but I will post a full review very soon. It's probably a wig that you, many of you, if you know wigs, are already familiar with. So let's get into it. So I didn't even open the box yet at all. So I bought this wig from Uptown Wigs, which is a site I've never ordered from before. It is a brand that I've tried many times before, which you will see in a minute as well. It's probably in the friggin' description of the video, but you know, it's fine. I'm trying to be like suspenseful, but like the title of the video already ruins it. So here it is, you guys ready? I don't think I'm ready. I'll throw away the uh, paper. They sent me a little envelope with my order information. That's nice. Yeah, so this is a wig seller that I've never, <laughs> that's so funny. That's um, my wig company, you know. Hold on a second. So I ordered from Uptown Wigs and apparently I didn't know this. This is actually so interesting. Uptown Wigs is actually a subsect of Vogue wigs, which explains a lot because the wig color that I bought today was a Vogue wigs exclusive. But then when I was looking it up on Google, I saw that this other website, Uptown Wigs, had it as well. And the reason I bought it from Uptown Wigs is because they had like a 30% off discount off the price. So I was like, okay, of course I'm gonna buy it from the slightly discounted one. But I was wondering why another website had the Vogue wigs exclusive color and that explains so much. Okay, that's really cool actually. That's awesome. That answers like all my questions. But yeah, this says um, wig scribe today, wig description, learn more here at voguewigs.com slash wig scribe. So obviously, unless they were affiliated with Vogue wigs, they wouldn't be putting this in the mail. But as you guys know, <laughs> I recognize this model because I've actually worked with her before. Because as you guys may or may not know, I'm the spokesperson for Adirans wigs, which is Renee of Paris, Amour, and Noriko, and a couple other ones. But um, I do some of their Amore catalogs sometimes, and I've modeled with her before, so I recognize her as one of their models. So even though this isn't like a Renee of Paris specific like mailer they're sending out, I guess they're using that model's photo for this particular promotion, which is cool. Okay, so yes, obviously, um, I, I can't be suspenseful here because I'm sure the name of the wig is in the title, but this is a Renee of Paris wig, and it's actually Riley which is a style I have not tried in an exclusive color. And the reason I wanted to try it is because it's a very vibrant color and I freaking love bright wigs. <sighs> Guys, I feel like my heart rate just like sped up a little. I'm so excited. Purple hair, I'm like tearing a little. Purple hair has always been my dream hair, but for the longest time, like good quality wig sites didn't sell bright colors. Up until recently, Renee of Paris and Adirans has been, have been releasing all these amazing colors, and this is one of them. I think this was only one of the exclusive colors, like a limited release one. But oh my god. I mind you, I just want to give a disclaimer, if it seems shiny, it's because I have this really, really bright, like professional lighting on it, so that's gonna make it look way shinier than like any other light ever. So, but I'll have to put it to the test and like natural light and everything too. But again, this isn't a review, it's just the unboxing. <sighs> Guys, this color is so dynamic. It's got like blues, silvers, lavenders, darker purples. The roots are like kind of blue black. Oh my God, this is incredible. So anytime I've ever wanted to have like a nicer quality but bright wig, I would have to take one of my like retired wigs that I stopped wearing because it was kind of like at the end of its lifespan and I would dye that using the FW Ink um, wig dyeing method which is a way to dye synthetic wigs. And I've done that a couple times and it's actually a really easy process. It's really, uh, like it has really good results. And I've done that with a bunch of my old Cody's because I used to wear Cody back in the day a lot. And um, I love doing that, but I never want to risk doing it to like a brand new wig because I feel like just in case I mess it up, that would be horrible. So it's way cooler for the wig to already come pre-dyed and like in a much more dynamic way than I would ever be able to do with like the FW Ink method. So let me just show you guys this color. Oh my gosh. I lowered the ring light a little so it's a little less shiny, but wow. Also, I've just been like dying to try Riley in general, so this is like doubly exciting. Okay, I need to try this on like immediately. My head isn't like sweaty. <laughs> it's so hot in here. 
I have my fan off so I can record without it being noisy in the back. Ooh, okay, again, this is not going to be the full wig review, but the cap fits really nicely. Good first impressions. Mind you, so even though I'm the spokesperson for Adirans, um, they do sometimes send me wigs, but this one I bought myself because I just really was dying to try this color. And again, it was like a limited release exclusive for Vogue wigs. So they've since released a bunch of other gorgeous bright colors with their recent um, either Renee of Paris or Noriko catalog releases, which I also have yet to try, which I'm dying to try as well. And this isn't one of those colors, but I was dying to try this one specifically because I love purple hair. Also, like, look how cute that is behind the ear. Like, sometimes certain wigs you can't put behind the ear because it just looks like wiggier. But this is like, it goes very naturally behind the ear. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna like cry. This is so exciting. So this is the color, before I forget to tell you the name of the color, by the way, um, this is Pastel Lavender. So again, I think this only comes from Vogue Wigs. It's one of their exclusive colors and it only comes in a handful of styles. It comes in this and it comes in, God, I don't remember all the ones, but I will list them below or on the screen over here. So I was very tempted to get it in some of the other styles and I was very tempted to try some of the other colors as well but this is the one I was most drawn to because I love purple hair. This picture right here is another one I was extremely drawn to, the really curly wig which was I think Jaden maybe? I can't totally remember and I think that was sea foam. That I'm still dying to try and I honestly might go ahead and buy that next because I'm so happy with this color that I feel like I just want to buy all of these exclusive wigs in all of the exclusive colors. <laughs> So the wigs themselves aren't exclusive, and they actually are sold, like, they're listed as two different wigs kind of on the website. Um, the ones with the exclusive colors are listed, like, totally separately. This is so pretty. It doesn't really go with the shirt that well, but it goes with, like, my aesthetic of my room. It goes with, like, the tapestry. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video now before I accidentally turn it into a wig review, because this is just a wig unboxing. Um, but I will give a full review of this soon, maybe after a couple of wears, so you can see how it looks um, in a few days, but I just gotta say I'm obsessed with like the flow of the hair. It looks very realistic. Like, arguably brighter colored hair is automatically gonna get a lot more questions. Like, oh my god, is that a wig? Not because it looks fake, but because it's so nicely colored and so pretty and like so outrageous that people might be more inclined to, su to assume it's a wig because like, wow, did you really dye your whole hair that color? Did you really commit to that color? <laughs> Whereas like, it's not that the wig looks fake, it's that people will just automatically ask you more questions if it's a brightly colored wig, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I am so obsessed with this, I cannot get over it. Okay, I'm gonna end this video now. Um, love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my review, which will be coming out very, very soon. Uh, and let me know what you think of this color. And I'll see you guys in the next video.